So, and the prices have gone through the roof. I used to remember when we used to sit and talk about 500 rupees for a 10, 10 second spot. Today you are talking about lakhs of rupees for exactly the same duration. If you have one program that's a hit, that's why you see, you know, one television series is cancelled, you know, 70 crores is lost in revenue. One cricket series is cancelled. And even if you do cricket, so advertisers are finding it very, very hard to find a medium that can hold the audience. Nothing out there is holding the audience. And there are a variety of reasons for this. The most important reason is just this. We have become very choosy as consumers. Once upon a time, all of our needs was addressed by Durdashan and Ramayan at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. Today, you want to hear the news, but you want to listen to, uh, you know, Evanescence, and you want to see uh, what uh, NDTV is saying, and you want to see something else, and you want to see something else. Everybody has very, very different needs. Somebody wants to see a travel channel, somebody wants to see a leisure channel, somebody wants to see dumb entertainment, somebody wants to see MTV, somebody wants to see Channel V, somebody wants to see music video. Your needs have become extraordinarily different. And as your needs have become different, this entire thing that we call mass media, or broadcasting, has simply ceased to be mass media. It has ceased to be broadcasting. Frankly, today you ask any media planner, there is nothing called mass media. There is only niche media. There's media for you, there's media for you, there's media for you, and there's media for you. There's no media that covers all of India. There is nothing like that. And given that media is now fragmenting to these little bits, imagine how much harder it makes it for an advertiser who's trying to reach you. If you are the kind of person who watches C uh, Channel V and CNBC and, and listens to Radio City and reads Economic Times, you will probably be somebody who, some, who's, something, some, who's got a choice that's completely different. And if my product has to talk to both of you, imagine the amount of media I have to buy. I have to buy your four newspapers and three TV channels and her two newspapers and five TV channels. And at the end of it, I go bankrupt. There is a huge crisis in advertising and marketing. And one of it is simply this fundamental crisis. It's simply that advertisers are not able to reach the target audience using traditional media. You know it yourself. With all the media that you guys are all in the media business, with all the amount of media that you consumed yesterday, you can't remember any ads yourself. If you yourself, you are in media, you can't remember ads, what of the regular public? We can sit and fool people and tell them viewership numbers and readership numbers, but finally in the end the advertiser sees his sales and the sales needle is not moving. At that point he sits back and says, hey, I have to sell 2,000 crores worth of soap. I have to sell so many uh, you know, rupees worth of loans. I have to sell this. I have to sell so many thousand rupees worth of air tickets. And this medium is simply not doing it. And that is why people have been looking for a different medium to be able to advertise. You know, let's talk about it. how many of you uh, watch cricket on TV? Everybody, right? So let's talk about the experience. You know, here's the experience of watching cricket on TV. So there you are, and let's say, you know, Betley is coming to bowl, and there's three overs left and 30 runs to make, and India has three wickets left. He's coming into bowl, and Harbhajan is batting. He comes into bowl, Harbhajan swings the ball, hits it high, people are running to catch it, cut. Shah Rukh Khan drives on the centre and says, you know, I'm such a smart guy for driving the centre. He's saying, get out of the way, I want to see who caught the catch. Was it dropped? Yeah? If you're watching a soap opera, you know, and, you know, in Saas you know, you, there's this chick and her son is going to meet this girl that she doesn't like and she's, you know, organized for a floozy go, to go and meet her and crash and there's going to be a dream sequence and you want to find out, does he get married, does she get married and you're just going to see what's going to happen and suddenly when kid comes to me, mama says, I wash his shirt and surf itself. He's saying, get out of the way, get out of the way, I want to watch the program. Doesn't it happen? That's really what's happened. So not just is the medium failing to capture you, the advertising is failing to capture you. All of traditional advertising is what? Is, be, is based on this theory called interruption marketing. Catch the viewer when they're doing something, interrupt them, show them your message, and then drag them back. You know what? The first few times, oh, jhatka lagta. You just say, what the hell, what the hell? Finally, you know what? You just wipe it out. Today, we even watch cricket. Everything is labeled, the score is labeled, the, you know, has, is branded, the field is branded, the stands are branded, every damn thing is branded, it just becomes wallpaper, you just ignore the whole thing. 
You have no idea who bought what brand on the boundary lines, who bought what brand on the ramparts above the audience, who bought what brand is written down there on the ground when the bowler is coming to bowl, what brand is written at the square leg boundary, what brand is written at the, at the third man boundary. You have no idea. You know it's there, you just wipe it out, it just becomes wallpaper. You've seen that. So people are trying very, very hard and spending huge amounts of money, but they're not getting the returns. And that's because not just has media fragmented, it's because our theory of advertising has been wrong. Our theory of advertising, the traditional theory was called interruption marketing. Find your audience, find them when they're doing something interesting, interrupt them. Now what's happened is we've become very smart. We've simply learned to wipe out those interruptions. Just forget it. You know, you know it's a price you pay for watching the content you want to watch? Just forget it. Now imagine this, these guys, the advertisers are paying for the medium, they're paying for cricket. Without advertising there would be no cricket, without advertising there would be no soap operas. And you know what, you're not watching the advertising. So finally there is a crisis. There is a crisis that happens. But as always happens in, in the world, I mean in any, any crisis you always come across some solutions to the crisis. So let me give you a different picture of what kind of solutions you might have in the crisis. So today let's say that you want to you know, go on a holiday to maybe uh, Goa. So what do you do? Today you go to a search engine and say, hey, holiday, Goa, maybe hotels, Goa, discount hotels, Goa, cheap rooms, Goa. And you go look at it. And you can ha have a set of results that come up. And on the right you see some links that say, you know, three days, two nights, or 2,500 rupees per person. You say, ha, huh, that's interesting. You click on that, you go in, it's a site, it gives you a package, and you say, that's interesting, you pick up the phone and call, or you fill up the form. Guess what? You have been marketed. But what's the difference between this and the earlier form of marketing? What's the difference? Can you tell me? <coughs> That's right. You're as, both of you are absolutely right. Yeah. So not just did you find the right customer. You found the right customer at the right time and you also found the right customer at the right time when the customer was looking for you. You were not looking for the customer. So almost all of today's interactive marketing, almost all of online marketing, what you're going to hear about today is really about this new form of marketing which is customer driven and not advertiser driven. Which is about finding out what does the customer want, when does the customer want it and how can I get it to the consumer at that point in time. And large number of successes around this have already happened. A big proof of success around this is a company called Google. Google has become worth something like 300 billion dollars today simply because all Google does, you should know 100%, maybe 99.5% of Google's money comes from advertising. So you may not even notice it. When you do a Google search, you see those little sponsored links on the right hand side. That is a source of 99% of Google's money. And what, how do sponsored links work is that when people are searching for a particular thing, if you're looking for a holiday in Goa, up will pop ads for holidays in Goa. If you're looking for a new job in Gurgaon, up will come ads for a new job in Gurgaon. If you're looking for uh, you know, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, up will come ads for dating and relating sites. So in each of these cases, you're not being fed stuff which you didn't want. You're only being fed stuff which is very, very relevant to what you were looking for. And you're being fed stuff at the moment that you're looking for it. This is a huge change, a huge change in marketing. And you can see the numbers are there. Today, you know, Google will probably do about 14, 15 billion dollars this year. In Indian rupee terms, that's 56,000 crore rupees of revenue in advertising. Just put that in here, 56,000 crore rupees of revenue. To put that again in, in, in perspective, the, the Indian advertising market is only 15,000 crores. Right. And Google 